In this question, we are asked for the cube root of z, which in algebraic terms is the same as either one of these two expressions. Let's move to the data statements, evaluating them separately first. Data statement one tells us about the fifth root of z. In algebraic terms, that's the same as the following equation. This bears some similarity to what we're interested in, but it's different. We have z to the 1 -fifth power. We care about z to the 1 -third power. We can massage this equation to give us what we are looking for. To do this, we can take both sides of the equation to the 5 thirds power. This involves thinking backwards so that we make sure that we get to where, what we're interested in, z to the 1 -third power. Since an exponent of an exponent multiplies the two exponent numbers, the left side becomes z to a power that is 1 -fifth times 5 thirds, or 1 thirds. We now have exactly what we are looking for. We want the cube root of z, and we have it. It's 243 to the 5 thirds power. We don't have to calculate that. We know that it will equal a precise value. Therefore, statement 1 is sufficient. Statement 2 is sufficient according to identical logic. We'll have the 1 25th root, and from there, we'll be able to perform legal operations to get the 1 3rd root. Therefore, statement 2 is also sufficient. The correct answer is D.